Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm Flavia and I would like to show you a card I made. It might be worth a glance for all the music lovers out there. My choir master terminated recently and because she's a gorgeous woman, I decided to make her a goodbye card. Actually, the design fits for every card related to music and it's going to be a shaker card. I didn't use dice, so don't worry if you don't have any. First, I copied a song we sang together and I reduced the size of the original, uh, which was A4 by the way, to make it match better to the size of my card base. If you don't have sheet music on hand, uh, search on the internet, there are thousands of thousands available for free. Uh, perhaps you can find the song you like. I dabbed lightly over the whole thing to color it in. I used a makeup sponge and some yellow and light brown acrylic paints. I trimmed my sheet down to the size of my card front and I did the same thing with a piece of acetate. I draw myself a guiding line which was about a centimeter from each border and I'm going to cut the paper there with my craft knife. Then I glued the frame to the acetate with some double-sided tape. This works far better than with liquid glue because the acetate blocks off the air and also can absorb the glue, which results in a very long drying time. I embossed my sentiment by using an emboss pen and some black embossing powder by Ranger. Then I filled in some gaps with a black mark. I draw again the same guiding lines I did earlier but now on my card front. I colored this area with some yellow color pencil. I did this to prevent from any white gaps that might be peeking through later on. And I glued my yellow sheet down, taking the lines as a reference. On the back side of my frame, I doubled up some foam tape. To prevent the sequence from sticking to the foam, I grabbed some powder to remove any stickiness. Because I don't have the anti-static powder tool, I used my Stärke. That's a powder out of corn I normally use in the kitchen. But if you clean the acetate with a dry cloth after applying it, it works fine too. I think you can use pretty much every white powder you have on hand for this step. Now it's time to fill in the shaker card. I used some sequins and beads of glass. I draw a music note with some waterproof pen, which I colored with some blue watercolor. Then I let it dry before applying a layer of yellow. I went over it a second time with the marker to intensify the black line. And I cut it out and glued it in the middle of my shaker card using again the double-sided tape. I followed the black line with glossy accent to highlight it even more. Uh, but I think I 
probably should have used some black embossing in the first place. And that finished the card. I hope you got some inspiration. Thank you for watching and have a creative day.